Hello everyone, welcome back to another tune. Today we are diving into a super useful math skill, solving polynomial equations using a calculator. Whether you are tackling algebra homework, preparing for exams, or just want to speed up your math problem solving skill, this video will show you step by step how to use your calculator to find roots factor polynomials and check your answers with ease let's get started so now the first question being given to us is if p of x is equal to 7x raised to the power 5 minus 4x raised to the power 3 plus 2x squared minus 8x plus 3 and q of x is equal to 4x power 5 minus 9x power 3 plus 11x squared plus 15x minus 7. You have to find i p of x plus q of x. So what we are going to do is that we can see that with this question is addition of polynomials. So we will head straight to our calculator and see what we will do. So now what I always tell people I teach is that um, when solving polynomials quadratic simultaneous equation what you do is that when you're using the calculator first clear the calculator yes to avoid any error so for those that don't know how to clear the calculator this is how you do it you press on shift and number nine then you press on number three that is all you press equal to and you press AC now your calculator has now been cleared so after we cleared the calculator what you are going to do is that what we are now going to store a number in and what I tell most people is that you store number two because I have used number two for a very long time and I've seen that there is no error with number two so we are going to store what's number two into our calculator so we will store number two into let's say maybe a into our calculator as a so after you are done we press our ac so when we are done storing number two what we do is that we now input the function p of x and q of x so to input the function p of x you first put it in a bracket so that when we are adding we will not get any error so we have seven x raised to the power 5 we come down minus 4 x raised to the power 3 come down plus 2 x squared plus 2 x squared minus 8 s 8 s plus 3 so let's check whether we've input the right thing for function p of x that is 7 x power 5 minus 4 x power 3 plus 2 x squared minus 8 x plus 3 so we've been able to input the right thing so what we do is that what we close our brackets now it's addition of polynomial so we need to bring what our addition sign then we now what input the function q of x so the function q of x is 4x power 5 so 4x power 5 minus 9 x power 3 x 3 then we come down plus 11 x squared x squared plus 15x minus 7 good so now we've been able to what input our value also for our function q of x so what we do is that we press on calc so we press on calc sorry we press on calc asking x what value of x are we looking for and remember that what we stored what two already into the calculator so let's press equal to and see 
equal to we get what 310 310 so let's put that in mind that was when we added this we had 310 so what we do is that how do we find whether this one is 310 uh, the options which one is the 310 so we choose them one by one so let's start with option a option c a is telling us none so let's move to option b option b is 11 x power 5 minus 13 x power 3 3 plus 13 x 13 x squared plus 7 x plus sorry minus 4 minus 4 good so after you're done we press on calc again then we press equal to you can see it give us what 310 for option b option b give us what 310 so we can see that what option b is the correct answer but for clarity let's check the other options to and see so let's check option c to and see if it will give us either 310 or a different number so option c is what let's just go back and change some things because they are all the same so here we can see that what option c here is minus 4 minus 4 here then we have plus 7x plus 13x squared let's see so here is not supposed to be minus it's supposed to be plus so let's change the minus to plus so let's delete the minus and put plus there so now we press on calc to see for option c equal to you can see it give us what 518 option c give us 518 let's check option d to see option d let's check to see we have you can see here is no more negative for is 10 so let's clear the plus 10 and we have plus 7x all right it's no more plus 13x squared but negative what 13x squared so we clear the plus and bring negative there then we have here too it's no more what's positive but negative so let's clear it and put negative there so let's now press our calc to see equal to 220 so among all this we can see that what option b was the one which gave us the exact thing as what 310 when we solve the original question so with this question we can see that what option b is the right answer so let's move to the next one which is question two which is telling us if you can see it is subtraction of polynomials if you can see subtraction of polynomials so let's go ahead and see so the question is if p of x is equal to 7x raised to the power 5 minus so it seems like it's the same function the same function though but here it's telling us to find what the subtraction of the polynomials so let's go ahead so we bring in our bracket so we have 7 x raised to the power 5 raised to the power 5 minus 4 sorry 4 x raised to the power 3 plus 2 x squared x squared minus 8 x plus 3 we close the brackets then now we bring our subtraction sign because the question is still asked to find subtraction of the polynomial so 
we bring our subtraction sign then we now focus on the second function which is 4x raised to the power 5 x raised to the power 5 plus um, sorry minus 9 x raised to the power 3 plus 11 x squared plus 15 x x minus 7 minus 7 then we close our brackets so we've been able to verify that yes we've typed the correct thing we press on calc as we store it as 2 so 2 press equal to it's giving us 64 64 as the answer when we go so we are going to check which of the options that will also give us what 64 so let's go straight into the options so let's start with option a which is 3 s raised to the power 5 s raised to the power 5 minus 5 x raised to the power 3 x raised to the power 3 plus 9 x squared x squared plus 23x 23x plus 10 plus 10 after we are done, we press our calc. So our x is what? 2. So it goes 148, which is far different from the 64 we had. So we can say that what option A is out of the what contest. So option B to the written none. So we can go for option B. Let's go to option C and see. Option C it is none. It's the same. Um, as you can see the same repetition of what uh, the question uh, expressions for the alternative is just that just a change of the operational signs and all that so there is no need for you to go and type it all over again you can just use the arrow key to show and go back and all that and change certain things so here you can see for option C we have plus 10 and here minus 23 but on the calculator is plus 23 so we just need to change what positive sign to negative and also here is negative so we need to change this sign to to positive sorry to negative so we delete it and we make it negative and also here is positive but on the calculator is negative so let's clear it and make it positive so positive after you are done we press on calc equal to we have 64 which is exactly the same as what we had when we solved for the expression itself without we focusing on the alternatives so with this question we can see that what option c is the right answer but let's check option D and C. Let's check for option D and C. So, option D2, let's see. Uh, it is, we have plus 10. Here, the, op, the operational sign is positive, so we need to change the negative to positive. So, we need to come and change it to positive. And also, in the operational sign in front of the 5 is what negative so we need to change it to negative negative so let's check and see after you are done we press on calc as to give us what 76 so we can now therefore conclude that what option B sorry option C is the answer for this question so We've now been able to what 
know how to use the calculator to what solve for polynomial equations involving addition that is addition of polynomials and also subtraction of polynomials in our other episode we will be looking at how to use the calculator to solve for multiplication of polynomials and also for division of polynomials so i will urge you to please kindly subscribe to this channel so that you will not miss the other episodes that will be uploaded on the channel thank you very much for your time see you in the other episode